That in, man, let me tell you, the four eggs, we got really lucky. So look at this, man. Look how deformed this thing is. Dude, world's first again. Cypress sunset. What's up, YouTube? How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's having a great day. Well, as you guys can see in the thumbnail, uh, man, we have a very, very expensive, expensive deformed snake. Don't know what happened, uh, maybe some incubation, but just one, one came out of the egg like that. But uh, yeah, but now you guys are gonna get, be able to see the Cypress Sunset, which man, let me tell you, looks freaking amazing. But before we get to that, check what's laying right now, guys. Check this out. Remember guys, the Trident Clown that I got? You know, Trident Clown's a new gene that, um, you know, David is actually working with. And we put a spot nose red strap yellow belly clown to this female, look at this. In the middle of lane, I believe she's done. Maybe one, two, three, four, five, six eggs. We're gonna let her sit around there for a little bit more. But yeah, how crazy is that, man? I would love to see how Spot Nose and Trident will work together just because they're kind of like similar to me. Obviously different, but it's gonna be really, really, really exciting. So before we get to this clutch, we cut this cl other clutch this other day, and it's funny. I wanted to do a video on this on the scaleless project which i'm still gonna do a full video on it but we had four eggs and we did an orange dream scaleless head to a vanilla pewter scaleless head and man let me tell you out of four eggs we got really lucky check this out so right here this guy's already ready to come out he was already poking out you can see right there we have a scaleless head and then right here we have an orange dream scaleless head you can see right there it has no scales and then right here, we have a scaleless, and we have another scaleless. That's pretty crazy, right? Four eggs, and you know, getting uh, two scaleless heads, and then two uh, scaleless snakes, that's freaking awesome. All right, let me put this away real quick, and let's uh, get to this clutch, which I'm really, really excited about, but also is really, really sad, because well, you guys will see. So, again, this, this pairing was a cinnamon inchy sunset female, and the male was a cypress head sunset. And let me tell you, the cypress sunset looks just as better than I, I thought it was going to look. So we actually got pretty lucky. We hit a few um, inchy uh, head sunsets, as you can see right here. This one, I believe, um, no, which one is it? I think it's the one. This one right here is cypress inchy. As you can see with the cypress, what the cypress all, always does, it leaves a blushing behind the head like this. As you can see on this one, you can see more of a dorsal stripe on it. Just even a lot different than these two right here. And a lot of the uh, the, uh, the head influences uh, the snake of the cypress a lot. But you can clearly see the difference on it. So this one's a cypress inchy. These are two are inchies. And then we have another good one right here. Check this out. And you guys can see the difference on them. So I'm going to put these away real quick and explain these. Give me one second. So right here, we have a regular cinnamon head sunset and then right here we have a cinnamon cypress head sunset again you can see the difference more of a dorsal stripe the blushing behind the head different colors um, both of them are 100 percent head sunsets but you can kind of see the difference of what cypress and non-cypress does with with cinnamon really really cool and then we have this one right here which Total. Let me wash it up for you guys real quick. So look at this, man. Look how deformed this thing is. Freaking sucks, man. And I believe this right here is an inchy cinnamon sunset. But man, did it come out super kinked. I feel so bad for it. We're going to euthanize it right now. Um, and then obviously we're going to um, give it to the indigo. Um, if you guys want to see, I'll definitely put it up there for you guys. If you guys don't, stop like... 30 seconds before the video is done because it's pretty. I mean, that indigo does not play around. And yesterday we fed him two uh, small rats, but snakes is one of his favorite meals. So yeah, horrible, man, horrible. But you know, you win some, you lose some. Now next we have a cinnamon sunset, which I think it might be Cypress. Um, I messaged my buddy Brian Cusco. You guys know if you guys don't know who he is, you know, I'm pretty sure you guys already do. Go make sure you guys go check out his uh, Instagram, YouTube. He has two good YouTube channels. He has Brian Cusco, then he has Triple B TV. But um, again, I see the blushing behind the head again. It looks a little more, it looks a little brighter than just being a regular cinnamon sunset. Um, I don't know yet. I don't want to say it is until, you know, um, I'm at, the reason why I asked Brian is because he's hatched a few of them already. Hold on one second, guys. That looks amazing. I'm telling you guys, let me, uh, let me get the rag real quick. Trust me, this thing is freaking amazing, dude. Freaking love it. Check this out. Cypress Sunset. And I don't think this has inchy in it. I mean, if it does, 
I have no idea, but um, hold on, let me get a better video because Tina's not really doing a good job. All right, here we go. Look at that, guys. How amazing is that? I'll put it over here. That is insane, right? Comment down below, guys, and let me know what you guys think. I'll get it in my hands right now and show you guys a little closer. See if you get a better color out of it. Dude, world's first again. Cypress sunset. And this is a, I believe this is a female. Mm, yeah, it's a female. It says, yeah, I would say it's a female. Man, I wish this would have been a male so I could upgrade my boy, but yeah, man, we're killing it over here. Um, Real quick, I'm gonna show you guys the next females that are due to lay. I have a lot of clown stuff coming up. Give me one second. Okay, so I showed you guys already the trident clown that's laying. Now look at this. She's gonna be ready to lay any day now. And right here we have a black pastel hypo clown. And we also bred the spot nose red stripe yellow belly clown to her. So hopefully we could hit some Pompeii hit hypos. Speaking of Pompeii, did you guys see that I hit the stranger Pompeii? Once that, when the, once all those shed out, I'm gonna show you guys how those things look. I mean, they're freaking amazing. This one right here I, as well is something freaking really, really cool. Oh, wait, did she lay? Oh no, it looked like she was on top of some eggs. But right here, right here we have a Batman and I actually produced these girls three years ago. This is her second year laying and she was bred to a DG clown. So hopefully we had a, quite a few uh, Batman, 100% had Desert Ghost. Then down here we have a Spot Nose. What is this right here? Spot Nose, Lesser, Yellow Belly Clown. She was bred to the DG clown as well. She is um, actually on her pre-lay shed. Then down here we have a Spot nose red stripe clown also bred to well actually this one was bred to the sunset clown um, And she's a uh, she already had her pre lay shed. We got one more. We got one more mm -hmm. And then we have an inchy clown Right here. She was bred also to the DG clown. I need to build an army of DG uh, Of clown head DGs or vice versa DG head clowns because see what a lot of people are doing man. I need some like huge huge catch-up time on these right here So hopefully we get some good odds and of course, a lot of these things will be available, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it over here. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I'm gonna leave it with this, and uh, we're gonna feed the uh, poor little snake to the indigo. All right, guys, here we go. And again, he already ate two uh, good-sized rats yesterday. Hopefully, he scarps this down. I know he really likes snakes. Um, the reason why he's talking with them is because it's pretty freaking quick. Weird. He might be full. Oh, yep, he's full. That's a first. Usually he freaking gobbles these things down, man. That is weird, but what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna actually freeze this bad boy, and then, you know, maybe after he digests those things, because they have super fast metabolisms, then we'll give it to him again. It's definitely not gonna go to waste, so I'll definitely do an update on this. See if he eats his very, very expensive snake. But um, yeah, guys, till next time. Peace.